Coming up, we learn which cursive student is thankful for her mother's health. Next, some bulldogs dig into a messy competition. Find out what they do later in the show. And to end it all off, we look at how our sports teams have been doing in district. Good morning, Bulldogs, and welcome to this Thanksgiving edition of Bulldog Broadcast. I'm Ben Curry. And I'm Miranda Romero. Today's November 16th, and Bulldog Broadcast starts right now. As members of Bulldog Broadcast, we are grateful to be able to put our passions to work every single day. And we thank you for letting us learn and grow. It's a beautiful day here at the Farm and Ranch Museum where we're inside the watering place, which was created by Armando Alvarez. Thanksgiving is a great time for everyone to count their blessings and realize what they're blessed with. A mother of a current LCHS student was fighting for her life just a few weeks ago. Let's turn it over to Lauren to see how they are feeling about her recovery. I found the lump on my own. I um, was referred to a surgeon, who's an excellent surgeon um, in town, who basically said it's cancer, it's breast cancer. You don't, want any, you don't want anybody ever to experience that. So it was really, it was very tough. I was scared because like when people talk about cancer, it's like a stigma, like, oh, they're gonna die. It's, it's not something you ever think is gonna happen to you. So it was scary. You know, you think, what's our future gonna be like? Do we have a future, you know? And then of course, for me too, I just knew I was told, you know, I had a treatment regimen, which of course is chemo. I had, I went, I had the whole nine yards. Don't know how you're gonna react to that. You don't know if your body's gonna respond. Um, it's extremely um, devastating. You know, but the biggest part, the surgeon as well told me, is that the biggest part is your attitude and people around you and get your support system in line because you're going to need them. Well, she lost all of her hair and she started to lose a lot of weight because you lose your appetite and she just like wasn't strong anymore. It was hard because she's like the glue of our family and like to see her have to go through that, like someone I love and like I care have to see her just like deteriorate every day was really hard. It was hard on all of us. It was very hard. Um, so we really had to pull together. To be positive was difficult. I just made sure to like make sure she knows that like my sister and I were there for her, and I would do the dishes and all the food. So I just made sure to like do everyday things that she didn't have to worry about. I'm happy. It's it's always kind of lurking in the back of your mind, um, but I'm I'm very grateful to all my doctors and the surgeon. That was the best day ever because she had to go through so many surgeries and so many times of saying that she still had cancer that like when she finally beat it, it was like unreal. But I still have a road to go, you know, I'm not, I have five years to see, you know, with my daily pills to see how I, how my body reacts to that and just stays away, you know, kills the cancer, whatever it has to do. Wow, that truly was a touching story and it makes me even more appreciative of my family this holiday season. Thanksgiving is a great time for good food and lots of laughs. Well, then you're in luck because that's exactly what happened this week. Let's turn it over to see what happened in this friendly food competition. Hi, my name is Giandre Hernandez. And my name is Matthew Falkenthal. And today we are playing Gobble, Gobble with, with Gratitude. Gratitude. I think I look four. Whoops. Ew. <laughs> it tastes so gross. <laughs> There's like nothing going in my mouth. Oh, my hair is in my mouth. Oh my god, he's going up. Oh my god, this is embarrassing. Ew. That was so gross. Oh my god. Okay, that's not right. 
This is a lot harder than it looks. I need a spoon now. But like, whatever. I have one more. Okay. Yeah, I I'm think done. I'm done. How do you guys feel right now? Great. I feel like dirty. Regressing. Not right. <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be a little bit. School is gonna be so embarrassing, Matthew. Bean boozled type of bean? <laughs> I knew Ew, it. Ew, Matthew. So, are you, Ew. Can you try to tell us what's the flavor, Phil? Losing. Yeah, uh, not great. <laughs> How do you feel, Bunny? Uh, I feel victorious. It was so quiet and I was like, it does taste so gross. Like, it's know. not okay. The, the, like, the one of them was, like, had a flavor on top of it. Like, like, oh, why am I, like, pretty sweet? <laughs> <laughs> That's booger. Interesting <laughs> bug. It's gross. Rip to Matthew. That's what I'm up to. Matthew was, lost. Yeah. Hashtag. Tragically. Tragic. <laughs> um, was it was disgusting. fun, but it was oh my god, really my gross. Was dirty. I was like, oh my god. I'm just like, yeah. I just gave up. I was like, <laughs> I'm Gianja Hernandez. And I'm Matthew Falkenthal. And this has been Gobble, Gobble with, with Gratitude. gratitude. Wow, awesome job, dogs. But before we take a break, Hosa competed in various competitions this past weekend. I'll check that out. Hosa, also known as the Health Occupation Students of America, is an informative club offered here at LCHS. It allows students to grow their leadership skills and develop in the health profession they want to go into. Over this past weekend at our school, HOSA held an invitational practice offering different performance tests to start preparing for their upcoming state competition. We invite all of the southern region, but usually who comes is Arrowhead, Oñate, ourselves, and once in a while we get Alamogordo. There's uh, 52 events. Um, they have just pure testing events. Then they have some events that require a test and then skills. And then we have some leadership events like public speaking, uh, writing. HOSA in general, we do have meetings every other week. Uh, they do a lot of community service and we try to get them to do hours in the medical field, which will help them get into medical school, vet school, uh, physical um, therapy school. Personally, I've developed a lot more leadership skills and now I'm an officer and it's gonna open up great things for me. And just preparing us for the future in general, like this is what I wanna do. Anderson says the students growth from freshman to senior year while in the program is tremendous and says they become more advanced and prepared for what's ahead of them. If you're interested in joining HOSA, stop by room H114 and speak to Miss Anderson. Wow, Miranda, that was amazing. Congrats to HOSA. I agree. We'll be right back, dogs. After the break, we get a recap on the intense midterm elections. And we find out which bulldog may play of the week. I have been at Las Cruces High for 24 years. This is my 29th year teaching. 26 years. Thank oh. you for oh. everything you do for oh. Las Cruces High School and your so support. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Flowers. We just wanted to thank you for everything you do for everybody here. Oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't need to do that. Thank you. Honey. You're oh, now I'm going to cry. <laughs> oh, they're beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. You're Look at this. Can you believe that? Oh, my goodness. Wonderful. Thank you. You know, it's not hard to do because you guys are such promise and that's why I do stuff for you. They say I should retire, but how can I retire when there's one more Megan or one more Simon to teach
get you one more Addy. I can't do that because I have to get to know you. Help you along your way. Now you're making me cry. Hungry for pizza? Don't want to wait? Then order ahead on the phone or online at Dion's.com and it will be ready when you walk in the door. At Dion's, you can get two large slices of delicious handmade pizza and a medium drink all for under $6. Dion's Pizza Salad and Subs, right down the street from Las Cruces High School. Welcome back, dogs. This year's politics have been very prominent in our society and everyone's talking about the midterm elections. During the election, many groundbreaking things occurred, like having 114 million people vote, and even electing the first openly gay governor in the United States. You're definitely right, Ben. So many things have come out of this year's election. In fact, Aaron has more details on what went down. Last week, on Tuesday, November 6, Americans across the country gathered to vote in the midterm elections, an occurrence only happening every four years. This year's ballot resulted in some groundbreaking firsts, not only for the country, but for our very own state as well. Democrat Michelle Lujan Grisham ran against Republican Steve Pierce in the race to replace Susana Martinez as the governor of New Mexico. With almost 100,000 votes putting her in the lead, Lujan Grisham is the first Democratic Latino woman in the United States to be elected as state governor. Next up on the ballot, Democrat Martin Heinrich, Libertarian Gary Johnson, and Republican Mick Rich ran in a feisty three-way race for the Senate. Taking 54% of the votes, Martin Heinrich kept his spot as representative of New Mexico. By the next midterm election, he will have served nine years in office. The race to take the spots for the second district of the House of Representatives was a nail-biter, as Republican Yvette Harrell was expected to win against Democrat Xochitl Torres Small by the end of election day. But in an enthralling turn of events, Torres Small turned out 78% of the 8,258 absentee ballots counted from Las Cruces after that Tuesday. Her victory has made her the first woman to take the 2nd Congressional District of New Mexico, as well as becoming only the third Democrat to hold that position in the state. It was another victory for the Democrats as Deborah Holland won the position of New Mexico's 1st Congressional District over Republican Janice Arnold Jones, becoming one of the first Native American women elected to Congress in the United States. To conclude this update, Democrats take to the House yet again, as Republican candidate Gerald Steve McFall only grabbed 31.3% of voters in New Mexico, leaving Ben Ray Lujan to be seated in the state's 3rd Congressional District. With Democrats gaining control over the state's most powerful offices, much is expected to change here in New Mexico. All winners will be sworn into office as of January 2019. For Bulldog Broadcast, this is Aaron Galindo reporting. Thanks, Erin. That was such an intense and revolutionary election. Great job to everyone who went out and used their voices and made the change that they wanted to see. While this election has been very interesting, our sports teams have had some very intense past games. Let's get more details on District with Bulldog Sports. What's up, Bulldogs? I'm Jaleesa Gulak, and you're watching Bulldog Sports. <laughs> On Thursday, volleyball started off the district tournament in a rivalry game against Mayfield where they won 3-1. Then on Saturday, they went up against Centennial in a nail-biting game and won 3-2. The ladies ended district undefeated and district champions. Congratulations to Deanna C. Fuentes for winning all district and to Christina Aguayo for winning district player of the year. They are currently up at state in the number three seat. Good luck ladies and bring home the blue. Then football went head to head with Mayfield at the Aggie Memorial Stadium for the rivalry game. They won 13 to three, leaving the whole crowd on the edge of their seats. Then they started off playoffs on Saturday where Johnny Terrazas made all three touchdowns against Clovis. This advanced the boys into the semifinals against La Cueva in Albuquerque. We wish you the best of luck on the road to state. Speaking of the Clovis game, player of the week is going out to Johnny Terrazas. Terrazas scored all three touchdowns at Clovis and almost got a fourth. He had 150 yards rushing and 5.3 per carry average. Congrats, Johnny, and go score some more Bulldog touchdowns. Well, that's all I have for you this week, dogs. I'm Julie Sigwas, and this has been Bulldog Sports. Thanks, Julissa. Great job to all our athletes. Keep up the hard work. Well, I think it's about time to fall into this Thanksgiving break. I'm Miranda Romero. And I'm Ben Curry. Remember, dogs, be thankful for what you have, and you'll end up having more. Be safe this next week, dogs, and we'll see you back here. See you soon.